Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. I want to introduce you to the LBC Sabo Slug. And what the heck does LBC stand for? It means limited bore contact. Those ridges that you see on there uh, limit the contact while they also enhance the gas sealing. Now the good folks at Ballistic Products sent me a few of these to test out. And if you remember a short while ago, I also tested their Thug Slugs out. Now these have the two-piece discarding sabo which fall away after it leaves the barrel and the lead nose which is supposed to be hardened lead probably with antimony weighs in about seven eighths of an ounce. The overall weight of this slug with the tail and everything is about one ounce. Now this is a component that you load yourself so Ballistic Products has this real handy loading guide it has color pictures of all the products they sell and all the load data on you know how much powder to use what brand of powder so you get the right velocity that you're looking for then you can load these things to fly at about 1500 feet per second we'll be shooting these at about 1200 feet per second so let's take these out in the field and see how they do now on the left is the 1 and 3 8 ounce thunderbolt slug and this is just a size comparison we'll be shooting that thunderbolt in the near future we'll be shooting these through a smoothbore shotgun these will also work in a a rifled shotgun all day long but we want to show you how good these work through a smoothbore and we'll be shooting at a bunch of 2x6's as our first target. So without any spin stabilization these things flew extremely well and if they fly straight through the air well they're probably going to be very accurate too and these things were very accurate. I also want to thank Baron for being our shooter today. Baron's in the Navy and uh, I just want to get a little shout out to him. Did a great job today. You'll probably notice that some of these slugs are red, some of them are blue. Uh, probably just different batches. Doesn't really matter. But I did notice that uh, the blues showed up pretty well on camera. Now if you look closely at the center of the screen you can see the slug and the blue tail assembly fall into the ground. So we're able to recover that one. And when they're talking about hardened lead, that's what they're talking about. Very little deformation, maximum penetration, and you remember, we're only going 1,200 feet per second. If you were to shoot these at 1,600, 1,500 feet per second, of course they'd go through many more layers of wood. They end up going through three pieces of wood, each one one and a half inches thick, and on the third one, it actually hit a big old knot it probably would have gone a little deeper if it didn't hit that knot. And as far as the application for these slugs, I believe it's for shooting big game, maybe even dangerous game, maybe even bear. You got really good penetration. So let's see how it does on ballistic gel. So what we have today are six ballistic gel gummy bears. These are made out of a synthetic rubber made by Clear Ballistics. Originally they were crystal clear, but as you use it and remelt it, it eventually gets darker and darker. But it's a lot better than nothing. The flight characteristic was pretty good. We saw a little bit of a waggle at the beginning, but still the end result, very accurate, right in the uh, upper chest of the bears. Now personally, I have a hard time remembering the name of the slug, LBC S S uh, Sabo Slug. I think if they called it the Lightning Bolt, and, you know, because they have the bigger one called the Thunderbolt, it only makes sense, and it would be a lot easier to remember. Okay, now this slug went right through all six of these gummy bears and ended up in the box of dirt at the end. We were able to trap this one too. So these things definitely have high penetrating power. We're figuring that out right away. There's the slug all covered with dirt. Uh, again, the wadding stays intact. But look at the deformation on this one. It's really mushroomed out in the center. Now in this test, we'll add a real gummy bear, which is a lot denser than ballistic gel to the test.
Now the real gummy bear is made out of gelatin and a lot of sugar. It's very dense and it kind of represents a very thick skinned creature. Now these real gummy bears, they will stop a 22 caliber bullet, they will stop a 45 caliber bullet, and um, it's probably about five or six times the density or the gooeyness of the ballistic gel. It's very, very tough to push a bullet through these things. So let's look at the aftermath. The slug obviously went through the real gummy bear, went through the second ballistic gel gummy bear, went through the third one, and then it ejected out the top. You probably caught that on camera. Now, Baron didn't want to hit the same spot that he hit the ballistic gel gummy bears the first shot, so he went for a headshot this time. And now, finally, just something fun. <laughs> so we got six cans of shaving cream, some sparklers, and a flare. Woohoo! Now, viewers often tell me, hey, you need to have some explosions or something, so we decided to do this. Shaving cream is a fun target. It has isobutane in it, which is the propellant, which is flammable. So, why not? Overall, we really enjoyed shooting these LBC Sabo slugs. It's a name that we, I just can't remember. You know, when you're sitting around the lunch table talking to your shooting buddies or hunting buddies and you're talking about ammunition you're probably not going to remember LBC Sabo you're going to remember a name like Thunderbolt or Thug Slug or you know if they name these things the Lightning Bolt you're going to remember that so that's just my little pet peeve I mean these things are great performing slugs and they need a name that represents its performance Okay, I washed off the slugs, kind of, sort of, and uh, got most of the dirt off them. But I just wanted to show you a little comparison between the original shape and what they looked like afterwards. This one, of course, was the one that we shot through the ballistic gel into the box of dirt. Now, this next one is the one that went through the shaving cream. All, it went through all three cans on the right side and uh, ended up in the box of dirt. A lot of deformation, but it it didn't ex you know break apart or anything like that. And yeah, I know this is all backwards, but this is uh, shot number one. It's just a little mangled up a little bit, but it's still you know didn't look like it lost any lead. So there you have it. Probably your first look at the LBC Sabo slugs. I want to thank the guys at Ballistic Products. I didn't they didn't pay me to do this. They just sent me a few of their slugs, and I wanted to you know just give them a little promotion it's very cheap advertising and a lot of companies have just flat out ignored me believe it or not when they could have gotten this kind of advertisement so check out the link in the description to ballistic products and if you buy something be sure to say hey I heard about you guys from a Tau Flater Mouse video and maybe they'll send us some other stuff to test out in the near future anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you're a non-subscriber you just stumbled on this video hey be sure to subscribe. If you don't like us, you can always unsubscribe. No problem. And remember, we'll be doing the test on the Thunderbolt slugs very soon. Thanks for watching.